Helium OS is a brand new Linux distribution using the immutable-ish technology. And this one is built on top of Alma Linux 10 and it uses KDE Plasma 6. And it's just had its first non-beta release. Helium OS is using Bootsy, which is the technology that Bazite and Bluefin and Aurora uh, and also Fedora Silverblue and Fedora Kino White, all of these, these distributions use Bootsy to make their systems work. Uh, this makes updates ultra reliable and makes it almost impossible to break your system. It's not impossible. If you try hard enough, you can do it. Just don't, just don't try. Don't, or don't try hard enough. Don't try at all. But <laughs> it makes the file system read only, which does make it so that you have to make modifications to a container image to modify anything. So this makes Helium OS a great option if you just want to install a system that works without dealing with managing a Linux system. So the interesting thing about Helium OS is that it's based on Alma Linux. For those who don't know, Alma Linux is kind of a, it's, it's not a clone, it's more of a derivative of RHEL. And it is very interesting because it's kind of like this combination makes a Helium OS sort of like an LTS type of distribution compared to Fedora, for example. And all of your apps on this distribution are shipped as flat packs. Now, DistroBox is also pre-installed, which lets you make a container for any Linux distro and install anything through its package manager, making it great for development tasks or if you need an app that's not available as a flat pack or an app image. Helium OS also has an experimental edge addition using CentOS Hyperscale kernel with newer hardware compatibility, similar to Ubuntu LTS hardware enablement packages. So you may need to use that version if you are on the very new hardware, but otherwise you can use the regular version. There's also an experimental Helium OS add-ons project for installing non-containerized software powered by Overlay FS, and basically it's a layer on top of the main system. And so far it allows you to install tools like NeoVim, VS Code Rustup, and NPM and more. I think this is a really interesting distribution because it's basically doing similar things that Fedora Silverblue and the Universal Blue team are doing where they're using, instead of Fedora, they're using Alma Linux to do it. And that is intriguing. So if you'd like to learn more about the Helium OS and the Helium OS 10 release, I have links in the show notes.